Okay, so I'm continuing on with my series, The Soul Needs to Get Saved. If you haven't tuned into my channel for a while, I started a series of three minute, approximately three minute in length videos about the soul needing to get saved. It's not the spirit that needs to get saved, it's the soul that needs to get saved. Everybody is born with a spirit that, that spirit is alive in the sense that it's empowering you to live. It's making your heart beat, it's giving you breath, you can live and move and have your being because of the spirit that's in you from God, but it's but your spirit is spiritually dead and separated from God. It's when you become born again that the Holy Spirit comes to live in you and makes your spirit alive so that your spirit now is connected to God and can understand the things of God. A lost person who does not have the spirit of God has no clue that they're even separated from God. They need to get saved. And so I've been making this clear that the soul is the word that we're interested in here. I'm going to read three more scripture verses with the word soul, and these are the last three scripture verses from the Old Testament. The next video, I'm starting on verses from the New Testament. All right, so let's start with Isaiah 55, 3. It says, Incline your ear and come unto me. Hear, and your soul shall live, and I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. You know what the everlasting covenant is? That's the covenant with Jesus Christ. There, have been, there are plenty of covenants that are mentioned in the Bible. I guess the one that a lot of people know would be the covenant that the Jews had, that Israel had with God, uh, called the Law of Moses. And the people in the, in the ancient people of Israel in Old Testament times had that covenant. But now, in New Testament times, the covenant is the everlasting covenant through Jesus Christ. And it says there in that verse, your soul shall live if you listen and pay attention. Next verse, Ezekiel 14, 14. Though these three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job, were in it, they should deliver but their own souls by their righteousness, saith the Lord God. It's an interesting scripture verse, and it says it right there, that those three righteous men would deliver their own souls. That's it, and not their spirit delivered, and their souls. And so they lived righteous lives. And it's the same thing with today. We have to live righteous lives, obeying the, the spirit of the living God as born again believers. One more scripture verse, Ezekiel 18, 20. I'm going to read just the beginning part of that verse, uh, because that's what matters to me. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. There it is. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. The scripture verse is longer than that, but that's all that matters for the point. It's not the spirit that shall die. When, the, when a person dies, the spirit goes back to God from whence it came and the soul either goes to heaven or hell. And so that's it for the Old Testament. The next video is going to be starting with New, New Testament Scripture Verses.